What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and in today's video we're going to be going over five secret tips that will get you a lot more wins in Blade Ball. If you apply these five tips to your gameplay, I guarantee you will start winning more games and playing a lot better. Okay, so before my first tip, I want to start off by saying I'm kind of contradicting myself in my previous video. In my previous video, I said that there was a pay-to-win emo in Sword, like if you use the new gauntlets over here, or if you use the Oni Claws, and then if you put on symmetrical clothes on the front and back and you use this emote that you get from day 14 in the daily login, like if you use this combination together, people can't tell where you're about to hit the ball. But one of my top comments, and also some other YouTuber kind of referenced me in his video. People making these videos, I'm not gonna say who, people making these videos like Headless Trick is apparently a pay to win thing. Okay, I get it, I get it. I made a whole video about how people can't tell where you're hitting the ball because of this emote and stuff which is true i wasn't wrong about that but you could also just use no shift lock the reason i really liked the emote thing is because i mean it's just like a cool distraction on top of the fact that i like using shift lock but i'm i'm gonna give it a try let me go over to the pro server because tip number one is try to play without shift lock so these are my current keybinds. I unbound my ability from mouse two. That's the one bad thing. If you're not using shift lock, you can't use mouse two for your ability, which a lot of people like to do. And a lot of people also like to use mouse one and mouse two for blocking. So you can click really fast between your two fingers just on your mouse buttons, but you can't use mouse two for any keybinds if you're not using shift lock. That's the one bad thing about not using shift lock is you need your right mouse button to actually click on the screen to move your camera oh yeah also my name is void v4 <laughs> i tried to change my display name for a video to go undercover it didn't work at all people literally just clicked on my name and they're like oh it's alpha like everybody already knew that i was going undercover so that that didn't really work out very well but once this next ranked season comes out, I think it would be a really cool idea to just go on an alt account that obviously doesn't have infinity and try to grind up to champion's rank on an alt account. I think I'm going to do that next season. I'm going to literally just buy force field or something and try to grind all the way up on an alt account. Okay, here we are in the game. And I'm going to just show you guys the little trick of playing without shift lock. Like, I'm so used to shift lock, I'm like flicking my mouse around and stuff whenever I hit the ball. But actually, without shift lock, whichever direction your mouse is, is where you can hit the ball. So, like, look, I can turn my character backwards, and then if I aim my mouse over here, that's where the ball is going to go. And this also works with my F key. So I can just aim my mouse wherever I want the ball to go, and I can be looking in any direction so people don't really know where I'm going to hit the ball. Like, as you can see, I'm looking back this way towards the wall, but I can hit the ball at this guy right next to me. So yeah, this is another really good way, obviously, to catch people off guard. You can hit the ball behind you, and they won't know which way you're going to hit it. You can hit the ball over to your side while you're looking over here to the other side. And it's definitely super, super useful. Okay, so for the second tip, you're going to want to watch your avatar when the ball gets really fast, or if you're in the middle of a fight in the middle of multiple people hitting the ball sometimes it's hard to track the ball around the screen especially if it's going super super fast or on or if you're on a super orange map or a super pink map like this one with a lot of red stuff around it especially for people that are partially colorblind a lot of the maps can make it really hard to tell what color the ball is so my second tip is to watch your avatar because it will glow a dark red with a white outline when the ball is going to you. It'll also do the same thing for other players. Like as you can see, a white outline appears on his character and he starts glowing red. Now, a lot of people actually don't pay attention to this at all, which is crazy, but it's definitely what you wanna be watching once the ball starts going super fast. You wanna just watch your character and as soon 
as your character glows red with a white outline, you gotta click immediately when the ball is super fast. So sometimes it's just easier to watch your character change color instead of trying to track the ball around the map with your eyes super fast, especially on a map like this where you can barely tell if the ball is red or not. And then for my third tip is if you don't have any good abilities, just use force field. And I've gotten comments about force field for weeks of people saying force field's the worst ability. All it does is block for you. It's pretty much an auto parry ability. If you were good, you don't need force field. Like we've all heard it all. But if you go and play ranked, literally 80% of people are going to be using force field. Also, sorry for, I, I need to just pre-record some gameplay and then talk over it. I'm literally sitting here looking down at my notepad and I just died to a ball going at me at medium speed. But yeah, tip number three, if you don't have a good ability, just use force field and also save it for the correct time. Like I was saying, people People that are new to the game are going to talk all the smack they want about force field, but it's literally the most used and the best free to play ability. Anybody can buy force field with just a couple thousand coins, and it's literally what 80% of the people in high ranked lobbies use. If you get into a game with eight people, at least, at least five or six of them are going to be using force field almost every time. Sometimes it's literally the whole lobby using force field. And also you have to pop it at the correct time. High ranked games is literally the last person to pop force field is the person that survives. And the first person to pop force field because the ball's getting too fast and they're scared, they're the person that dies. So yeah, if you don't have a good ability or if you're not that good at the game, just get force field. It's not a bad ability. It's not a noob ability. People that complain over abilities, it's kind of cringe. The abilities are in the game for a reason and Anybody can buy it with a couple thousand coins. If you need a good ability, use force field and save it for when you need it. Because force field isn't just, oh, it blocks for you. If you had skill, you could do that. There's some situations where you get put into a ranked game and it's a high ping server because the server is far away from where you live. There's also situations where, you know, a bunch of other people around you are using force field and the ball's going like this. So even if you're on zero ping and actually had inhuman reaction time, it would still be crazy hard to survive a situation like that without some sort of ability like force field, infinity, invisibility, some sort of ability to survive that situation. So yeah, if you need a good ability, just use force field. It doesn't matter what anyone says, use whatever ability you want. They're in the game for a reason. You don't have to be pressured into using a bad ability because somebody doesn't like the ability you're using. Use whatever you want. And then for my fourth tip, I would say to have a very good camera angle. Now, sometimes when I'm recording, I'm getting up close like this and like not really paying attention to the game because I'm just mainly trying to give you guys good advice. I'm not trying to sweat like crazy just in a regular pro game here. I'm just trying to give you guys advice and good examples, but you definitely want to have a good camera angle. Here, let me just spectate somebody else. It'll be a little bit easier for me to show you. Like you don't want a camera angle like this. You want to be able to see what's going on, but at the same time, you don't want all this stuff behind you to be getting in your face because that's super annoying. So a lot of the time I angle my camera up a little bit like this so that I can still see the map over here towards the top of my screen. And I can also just see all around me and stuff isn't getting in my face behind me. So you want to just have a good camera angle. It'll help you out a lot, especially if you're on a super bad map with a ton of stuff that gets in your face. And then for my fifth tip, I'm going to have to say you're going to want to target certain certain people with certain abilities. Now, this might sound like a pretty annoying tip to just target somebody because they're using a certain ability. Now, a minute ago, I said you can use whatever you want. No need to be ashamed of it. Just use whatever ability you're best with or that you have the most fun using. But the reason you're going to want to target certain people is because there's a lot of abilities that counter other abilities. So let's say you're in a game with six or seven force field players, but there's one player using pull. So if you don't get in his face with force field 
and get him taken out, then he's just going to pull you and get you killed as soon as you don't have your force field, because that's what a lot of good players do with their abilities. They'll target you before you can target them if you give them the opportunity to. So sometimes you have to target specific people and you have to target specific abilities. You want to get that pool player out of the game as soon as you can, and you don't want to be anywhere near him after your ability runs out, especially if you're using something like force field, and then you have no counter at all if he tries to pull you when your force field's gone. So yeah, combine all five of these tips, don't use shift lock and just run around so you can hit the ball in any direction and people never know where you're going to hit it. Watch your avatar whenever it turns red like this, especially when the ball is going really fast or there's a lot of people around you and you don't want to track it around because sometimes it's pretty hard to track the ball around when it's going super fast, especially on a map where you can't tell what color the ball is. Just look at your character, especially you know, once the ball gets to a certain speed. Also, if you can't get good with any abilities, just get Force Field. It's the go-to. It's literally the second best ability in the game, and it's the most used and ranked. And it's also just the best free-to-play ability, to be honest. Have a good camera angle, especially on maps where a lot of stuff gets in your face, and target people with certain abilities, and stay away from people with certain abilities if you don't have the means to target them right now, like such as the ball's too slow or your abilities on cooldown. Just play smart, stay, stay away from people that you know can counter your abilities, go after them when they don't have their abilities, and yeah, just practice hitting the ball really fast, get in the middle, get into a lot of altercations, if you're just practicing to get better. And I hope these tips helped you guys out. If they did, make sure to hit the like button, comment some ideas for more future videos down below, and subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Peace out, everybody.